Hi everybody, this is a video on how to study math facts, how to study flashcards. The first thing you need is flashcards. Um, you can buy flashcards. Those are some of my favorites. You can get them online or uh, at a teacher supply store. Um, or you can make your own flashcards um, just with index cards, just like these. So when you make your flashcards, if you're making addition, um, you want to have a set that has the same number, like if this is threes, we got 3 point plus 2, 3 plus 3, 3 plus 4. I'm missing some, but that's okay. For addition, you just go 1 through 10. You pick something like plus 3, and then 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 3 plus 3, all the way to 10. If you're doing subtraction, um, it's the other way around. Your answers are going to be 1 through 10. So you could do like 12 minus 3, 13 minus 3. You obviously don't want to do 2 minus 3. We don't want to do negative numbers. Don't want to do 14 minus 3 because you don't want to go higher than 10. Um, so with subtraction flashcards, all the answers are going to be 1 through 10. Multiplication, it's the same as addition. It's just going to be like 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, all the way up to 10. Division is a little harder. Um, you just have to make sure that your first number is a multiple of whatever the second number is. So you could do 14 divided by 7. You could do 21 divided by 7. But you're not going to want to do 10 divided by 7. So let me show you how to study the math facts. I've got some sixes here. And what you want kids to do is you want them to think about their thinking. It's kind of hard to figure out, but once you get it, uh, it's easy. So I'm going to look at these flashcards, and I'm going to think, do I, <clears throat> do I know the answer right away, or do I have to count to figure it out? If I knew the answer right away, I'm going to put the card over here in this pile. If I had to count to figure it out, I'm going to put it in this pile. Um, so it takes a while to teach kids how to do that. Um, you just have to coach them through the first couple of times and say, so did you know that right away or did you have to count to figure it out? And you'll be able to tell because it'll take them a few seconds if they're counting to figure it out. It's okay to count to figure something out, but what we want to try and do is have it totally memorized. So I'm going to go through right now. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of acting because I already know all these, um, but just humor me. All right, so that's 10. I know because I know all my 10s. That one's 5. Oh, 15, yeah. Didn't know that right away. I know that's 7. Um... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I had to count for that one. That's 16. That one's easy. That one's 8. I know my doubles. That's 12. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. I had to count to figure that one out. 6, 7, 8, 9. I had to count to figure that one out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. That one's 13. So these ones I already knew right away, so I don't even need to study those. I can put those over here. These, um, actually, I do want to keep these close by. These ones I had to count to figure them out. So I'm just going to take a few of them, maybe like three of them, and then I'm going to study them a lot. So let's see, what's this one? 13. Okay. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. All right, and that one's nine. Okay. I mean, yeah. 9, so 13, 9. This is what a kid would do. They would just look at the card and see if they can remember it. 13, 9, 13, 9, 13, 9. You know, I'm going to stick these in the deck and go ahead and practice once more. So I'm putting the ones I just studied with the ones that I already know. Uh, let's see, that one's 12. I can't remember that one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm kidding. I did remember it. but uh, Okay, so we'll pretend that one goes here. Um, 8, 16, 9. I remember that one. 7, 10. Okay, so I need to study this one some more. And I'll throw this one in too. So that's 11. And that one's 13. 13, 13. 11, 13. 11, 13. I think I've got it, so I'm going to put them back in, and we'll see if I remember them. 10, 7, 9, 11, 16, 8, 12, and I don't remember that one, so I have to keep studying it. So that's how it goes. You, you just study the pack. 
you introduce a couple of new ones, you try and memorize them, um, and that's that's how flashcards work. So if you help your kids for a while, for like a week or two, then they should be able to do it on their own. This is something they should work on every night because by the end of third grade, they need to have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division down to automaticity, that they know them automatically. After you've got all those down, there are um, websites you can use that aren't great to learn the fact, but they're great to practice some and practice getting faster at them. Let me show you some. Uh, this is a great worksheet generator. Um, it's at superkids.com, so you could just Google superkids worksheet creator and it would pop up. The thing I like about this one is you can pick to use one number in all the problems, so it's a pretty good one. Another one I like is called Math Magician. Uh, I like it because you can pick the fact that you want to do. Like if I want to do plus 7, and then you just hit start. Some other good ones. These are some good apps. Uh, it's called, let's see, I always mess up on this one. It's Flash, oh, down here. Flash Action is what you want to Google. Flash Action Edition or Flash Action Multiplication. This app will pop up. It's for the iPad. It's, it's really great. So uh, <clears throat> hopefully that tells you how to study your math facts, how to practice your math facts. Uh, it's pretty easy, and you get the hang of it if you end up doing it every day. Um, every day is the way to learn them if you just focus on them for a couple times a week they aren't going to stick. So, um, okay, that's it.